Hey guys, how's it going? I just got done streaming with my buddy and he was saying that he's having issues with making his Xbox console companion app stream through his PC to his Streamlabs OBS and getting it onto Twitch. So I just wanted to make a quick video kind of breaking down some of the issues that people are having with this little workaround. So it's a great tool to use if you're just getting into streaming or you just don't want to sync the money into a capture card right now. So I'm just going to get right down to it so you guys can see how to do this. So I'm going to give you my display here so you can see what I'm doing. Um, first thing I'm going to say is make sure your Xbox console companion app is up before you start trying to add it as a source to your Streamlabs OBS software. Um, if you don't have it up, the Streamlabs OBS won't recognize it when you go to add it as the window that you're selecting. And you're just going to have to close out of everything and then restart and open it up from the start. So go ahead and open that Xbox console companion app. Then go over here and click add new source. And then once you hit add new source, go straight over and hit add game capture. And then this way, it's only going to stream the actual gameplay when you're streaming your Xbox feed to your PC rather than just capturing the Xbox console companion app at all times. So go ahead and hit add source. And then I'm going to hit add new source so that you guys can see how to do it from start to finish. As you can see, I have my little settings right here as Xbox. So hit add new source, name it whatever you want that's going to work best for you as to differentiating what it is that you're uh, streaming. Uh, hit add new source, then go over into the mode section and change it from full screen application to specific window. And then once you hit specific window, hit select option. And then you're, as long as your Xbox console companion app was open before you started this whole little process, it should show up right here. And you can hit Xbox console companion app, and then it'll pull that up. I recommend hitting the force scaling button because for some reason, I just feel like the uh, 1536 by 864 doesn't really fit my screen the best way that I want it to. Um, you can play with it however you want. I like to set it to the 720 just because the way I have my overlay set up. Um, but mess around with it. Make See what happens and what fits on your screen the best in the ways that you want it. Uh, this can adjust it substantially and help you get your sh screen set up the way you want it. So once you do that and you've decided the resolution you want it to be at, hit done. Then it'll pull up back to here but it won't show you anything because you're not streaming your gameplay from your xbox yet so after you have that all set up go over here onto your xbox one console companion app and go down to the connections tab i'm already there so you i can already go ahead and hit stream uh connect to the xbox that you want to stream your gameplay from and then hit stream pretty simple um after you get it open, one of the issues people see is they pull up this app and then it goes into the full screen mode and they can't get it to actually show picture in the Streamlabs OBS. And that's because it's in the full screen application mode and the Streamlabs for some reason, sometimes on some people's PCs, does not like streaming the gameplay directly. So you just go up here in that top right corner, minimize it into this little tiny window here, and then it'll... Uh, as you can't see because I actually have the Streamlabs thing going on. Um, so there we go. Now you should be able to see it. Make sure that it's minimized into a small window about this size. And then once you do that, you can go ahead and go onto your stream settings and um, make sure that you guys can see it. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and get it out of the way for now. And then so to get your picture quality the best that you can get it, I recommend hardwiring your PC and your Xbox into the same network uh, through Ethernet cables. And then you can go ahead and hit this change quality button. And when you're running on both wired connections, it's going to talk through your own network and give you the best picture possible if you go and you hit very high settings. Uh, once you hit very high settings, you'll be able to get pretty much the best streaming quality that you're going to get um, from this kind of setup. And it's going to work very, very well for Twitch. And when you're for just starting out and you're not trying to stream in something crazy like 4K, it looks good. It's more than enough. You don't have any crazy frame rate drops as long as your internet can handle it. Um, but for the most part, it just works really, really well. So make sure that you have that high quality setting because you're going to get a little pixelation. It's going to get a little worse as you work your way down the list, obviously. So once you do that, That'll take care of your quality settings on everything and on your uh, Streamlabs OBS streaming your gameplay. 
Then once you do that, the best way to fix the party chat issue is go ahead and go to your settings. I'm already kind of there because I've tried this video, making this video a few different times. And I messed up several times, but that's beside the point. Um, so go to your street, uh, Xbox consoles settings and then go to your device and sound settings and then hit volume. Um, I recommend going down your charty, your party chat, uh, output settings and then hit speakers and then once you're hitting you hit it to display all your party chat sounds through your speakers it's going to play all of it through here through the, your headset if you play with a headset monitoring all of your gameplay noises and everything you'll still be able to hear everybody talk as long as you're using the head jet, headset jack on your P xbox controller and then if you the, you still will need a external microphone running through your PC in order to capture your voice going into the OBS software because the Xbox console companion app for obvious reasons is not going to pick up your own voice when it's spinning it through the Xbox uh, out onto your PC and then into Streamlabs. So make sure you have an external microphone all set up. Um, but other than that, it'll save you a bunch of money when it comes to setting up a capture card. I hope this worked out well for you guys and was able to hopefully resolve some issues that you had. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and shoot me a message on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Twitch, whatever. Uh, I'll have all the links in the description below. Um, I'd be more than happy to try and help figure out whatever issues you're having. And uh, if you need a kind of live demo to work your work you through it, uh, go ahead and stop in on any of my live streams. I'd be more than happy to stop doing what I'm doing and help you figure out your setting issues. Um, I stream Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays from 5 to 7, Fridays from 8 to midnight, and then I'm back again on Saturdays from 10 to 1. So drop in at any of those times. Shoot me a message. Drop in the chat. I'd be more than happy to help you out. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I hope this was able to help you resolve some of your issues. I know that it was a pain in the butt to try and get this all working on my PC when I was having all those issues. So um, I hope it works out for you, and I'll catch you guys later. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Thanks. Have a good one.